yeah, the, the first thing is to get organized and figure out what classes that you want to take. You can go online to Connections, go to your student tab and look for academic services, and you can call up your degree audit, which shows you the classes that you need in your major, the classes that are required of your general education requirements, and also how many hours you've taken. And so that gives you an idea of what classes you should take next semester. The next part is to go online and go to the uh, course schedules for next semester. They're found under academics. And then go ahead and work out a schedule with some proposed classes that you can take into your advisor. You have to see your advisor every semester at Webster, Webster University because um, they have to release you to register online. And it's always the student's responsibility to make sure they're going through and getting the right classes, but your advisor can help answer questions. Once you make the appointment to see your advisor, it's always a good idea to come in with your proposed schedule and also ask them not only to release you to register online, but to give you a paper registration form because that form, if there's any kind of computer problem, which we wouldn't want to have, but if there is a computer problem, you can then go to academic uh, advising or to the registrar's office to go ahead and register um, in person instead of online. When your advisor releases you, um, you then can go um, and register. Monday is going to be for seniors, Tuesday is for juniors, and Wednesday is for everybody else, and they count the credit hours that are in progress. So it's 90 hours for a senior, 60 hours for a junior, and then everyone else. Um, the registration, the biggest problem with registration is forgetting to change your options to the correct semester and year. And so if you don't do that, you're going to be registering in this semester or last semester, and it will say that you haven't seen your advisor for registration clearance. And if you have done that, make sure that you always check to make sure that your options are set to the right semester. Um, when you go in to register, you have to enter a financial code. Most students put in FA for loans, grants, scholarships, and then the next one is PD for paid two weeks in advance. And you can enter up to three um, financial codes before uh, you can register. Um, if you don't put a financial code in because you don't know it, you won't be able to register. Once you do that, you just choose which courses you want and the section number and hit add. It's very simple. And then if you add a class and realize it's the wrong section number, you just uh, click on a circle and hit drop and the class gets dropped. And you have access to the registration for the next semester until that semester begins. But you can't go in the first week of school and change things around because you are no longer allowed into the system. Registration opens at 5 a.m. Uh, of the day that you're designated, and if you're looking for some uh, key production courses, Audio One comes to mind, then you really should get up at 5 a.m. in the morning to register. The server may be a little slow, but uh, you know it, it's, it's something you have to do to get the classes that you want, especially the schedule. One other thing is Students need to check right before registration to see if they have a hold on their account. These holds can be anything from you didn't uh, turn in the, the shots that you have from your doctors or a library fine or you have a financial aid problem or you haven't paid your tuition off. Any of those holds will prevent you from registering. And so when you first get into the registration system, even before registration, uh, week, you can see if you have a hold, click and see which number um, you can call to find out how to get the hold lifted. But if you have a hold, you won't be able to register. Mm -hmm.